All right, we have found the area of, uh, so far, just some regular uh, shapes like rectangles. Eventually, we'll get into uh, triangles, circles, and um, everything else. But right now, what we're going to do is we're going to talk about how to find the area of compound shapes. Now, for this, for this first part, what we're going to do, since we haven't talked about the triangles or the circles, is we're just going to stick with ones that are... Um, sort of rectangular shaped or could make re rectangles and you'll understand what I mean in a second here. Uh, in order to do this there's two ways it, that it can work and I'm going to show you both ways uh, because some of the shapes you'll see it works better to do the first way, some the second way. I think you can use both ways um, but we'll show you both so you can do both of them. Uh, the, first, the first way you could do this is if you take a shape uh, you cut it into pieces find the areas of each of the individual pieces, and then just add them together. That would get you the area of the whole shape, or it would get you how much it, um, space it takes up. The other thing you can do is you can outline the whole thing, and what that means is outline it so it's actually the whole thing is a rectangle or a square. You could find that area, and then you could subtract out the pieces. And I'm going to show you what I mean, of course, in a second here. The first one I'm going to show you looks like this. I've already filled in all the sides, but again, if you didn't have some of the sides, um, we've talked about how to do that. I mean, if they didn't give you this six up here, that would be pretty easy to figure out what the side is. It would just be this four and whatever this is, which is two, to make six. Or, for example, if they didn't give you this three right here, it would be two plus the missing one should get you five, so that would be three. Um, I've already gone through and drawn these shapes uh, with the ruler that's on Actum Inspire. I, and actually, if you get a chance to ever use this, it's a pretty cool thing because it draws a straight line right. Like if I were to do this straight line right here, it draws a straight line right on the edge. So you can't mess it up. Um, so that's pretty handy anyway. Now to, to the area of this. Um, before I do the area, I'm going to find the perimeter first because it's really... It's a lot more difficult to find the perimeter after you've cut it in this into pieces. So I'm just going to find the perimeter really quick here. Um, 6 and 2 is 8, uh, and then 4 would be 12, 15, 16, 17, 22. So my perimeter is 22, and I think this we used inches for, so it's 22 inches. Now we need to find the area. We're going to use that first method that I talked about where we break it into shapes here. I need to break this into rectangles. And there's a couple of ways that we could do this. Uh, I'm just going to show you one way, and the other way would have been acceptable too. I could draw a line going straight across here, so I would have a rectangle up here and a rectangle down here. I could also, if I didn't want to do that, I could draw a line that goes up and down like this, and then I have a rectangle here and a rectangle here. And then I would just add the two areas together when I'm done. So let's try this. Let's just do the second way that I just did here. I'm going to draw this dashed line here to show where we're cutting it. Okay. Now here's the important thing. We need to think about this now as two separate shapes. We've got this guy here and we've got this guy here. So we need the area of this and the area of this. And it can get confusing because we have these other numbers here that don't really represent the pieces that we need. This 6 is all the way across here. But for this rectangle, and I can outline it for you if that's easier for you, we need the sides of this so we can do the length times the width. So this 6 really doesn't matter for this because the length of this rectangle is 4 and the width of it is 2. So 2 times 4 is 8. The area of this part of the shape is 8. Now we come over here. We need to find the proper sides for this. So if this is my rectangle, the, le or the length is going to be the longer side, which is 5. The width is going to be the short side, which is 2. 5 times 2 is 10. Now all I need to do is add those two things together. And if I add those two things together, area of 8 and an area of 10 is going to be an area of 18. And then we would have our label, which is inches square, Meaning that I could fit 18 of those square inches. And a square inch would look like this if I can get it off to the side here. Uh, there. And then I'll just try to draw the rest of it freehand here, which is not going to work out very well. But... We're saying that we can fit basically 18 of those inside of this shape right here. Now, you could have cut it like this, like I said, and then it would have still added up to the same thing, so it really doesn't matter. 
Now I'm going to show you the other method I uh, wanted to get with you here is the subtraction one. What I do for the subtraction one is I draw the shape as if it was a whole rectangle or a whole square, meaning I'm going to do this. Now I picture this as an entire shape here, and this entire shape would be 6 by 5. So the area, if this was one big shape, and I even had this in here, one whole shape would be 30 inches squared. But we have to take out the part that's not actually the shape. And the part that's not actually the shape is this part right here. Okay? So we can subtract that from our total. So this shape right here is a 4 by 3. So 4 times 3 is 12. So this is an area of 12. So we have the whole thing here when I added this piece to it that made a complete rectangle which was 30 inches square. I'm going to take away the 12 from this piece right here that isn't really in the shape and I'm going to get 30 minus 12 is 18 inches square for my answer. Either way is fine. You can cut it into individual pieces and add them up. You can add something to it to make a rectangle and then subtract that extra part out. Either one is fine. Let's go to the next one here. We got this kind of T-shaped guy here. And again, we can do this two ways. The first thing I'm going to start with is I'm going to find the perimeter because once I start cutting things, it's a lot tougher to find the perimeter because you got extra numbers. So let's just add these up and see what we get. Uh, 15, 23, uh, let's see, 27, 33, 40, uh, that would be 10, so it would be 50 and 58. And this is centimeters for this one, 58 centimeters. Okay, now that we've got the perimeter out of the way, we need to find the area. And I'm going to start with cutting these into shapes. I'm going to start with that method. Now, there's two ways I could do this. I could do this. So now if you look at what I'm left with, I've got rectangle, rectangle, rectangle. Three rectangles that I would have to find the area and add together. Now, that would be perfectly fine. But I'm not going to do it that way because there's a way I can cut this so I only have to add two numbers together. You get the same thing, but I think it's easier to add two than to add one. So I'm going to actually just make my cut right here. Now I've got rectangle and oh, close to a square. I don't know if it's going to be a square or not. Well, it's, I don't know. It's six by seven, so it wouldn't be a square. So let's find out what our areas are. Let's start with a bigger rectangle here. Okay, we got this bigger rectangle on top. That's a 15 by 8. Okay. 15 by 8, so that's 15 times 8 to find the area. Well, 10 times 8 is 80. 5 times 8 is 40, so that's 80 plus, that's 120. Okay. Now we got to come down here. And this rectangle, and again, we're just picturing these separate for right now, is 6 on the side and 7 on the bottom. So 6 times 7 is 42. So now we just need to add those two areas together to get the total area of the whole thing. 120 and 142 is going to be 162 centimeters squared. Our label has to be centimeters squared. We're saying we can fit 100 and 162 square centimeters, and a square centimeter is going to kind of look like this inside of this shape right here. So now let's go to the next one that's like this. And I'm going to show you how to do the subtraction method of this. Okay, And for this one, the subtraction method would probably actually take longer. But whatever, I think it's a good thing to see. So if I draw this shape so it's a complete rectangle. Now this rectangle is 15 on the top. Uh, and on the bottom, it's actually going to be 8 plus whatever this is. So I just look over here, that's 8 and 6. 8 and 6 is going to be 14. So it's 15 by 14. And I'm going to actually just do that on here to see what I get. 15 by 14 is 210. So the entire thing is 210 square centimeters, this whole thing. But you have to understand that this part right here and this part right here actually aren't part of the shape. So we need to take those away. Uh, if we just focus on, and actually it's nice because these two things I think are exactly the same. So if this is just a 4 by 6... A 4 by 6 is 24 for an area. A 4 by 6, 4 times 6, is 24 for an area. So I need to subtract those two. I need to take out 48 because 
224 is just 48. So I need to take out 48. Okay. Now, if we're right, that should add up to what we got the first time we did this. It should add up to 162. Or when we subtract it, it should be 162. And if I do 210 minus 48, let's see, we'd have 11, and then we'd have 10, and that would be 10. Uh, we got our 2, we got our 6, we got our 1. Okay. 162 square centimeters. So all I did there was I made the entire thing and I took out the individual pieces.